Hello students, welcome to the lecture unit 3, Static Chain Compensation. So in the earlier lectures, the introduction class, we have seen what, what are strength controllers and what is the job of strength controllers. So you know the strength controllers uh, may be a variable impedance or variable sources or combination of these three. So all strength controllers inject current into the system at the point of connection and here in this lecture the contents to be discussed are objectives of strength compensation so midpoint voltage regulation voltage instability prevention improvement of transient stability and power oscillation damping so first let us see what are the objectives of strength compensation okay so it has been recognized that the steady state transmittable power can be increased and the voltage profile along the line can be controlled by appropriate reactive chain compensation. So by the help of chain compensation, we can increase the steady state transmittable power from source and to load end and also increase the voltage profile. So we can increase the <coughs> voltage profile along the line by using shunt compensation. And also the main purpose of uh, shunt compensators are so to, they change the natural electrical characteristics of the transmission line so to make it more compatible with the fundamental load demand and to make it more easy way uh, to carry the load without any uh, like uh, voltage instability or power sensitivity, so that means they will change the shunt capacity, change the natural characteristics of the transmission line. And shunt connected, so maybe fixed or mechanical switched reactors are applied to minimize line over voltage under light load conditions. Okay. So over voltage under light load conditions and chain connected fixed or mechanically switched capacitors are applied to maintain voltage levels under heavy load conditions. And with this, the steady state transmitter power, so you can see it can be increased. Okay, and the voltage profile along the line controlled by appropriate reactive power. Uh, reactive chain compensation. So based upon these two points we can conclude that the voltage profile along the line can be controlled. And the ultimate objective of applying chain compensation in a transmission system is to increase the transmittable power. So the main objective is to increase the transmittable power. Transmittable power here it seems so, it increases the power system transmit capability. So, this is required to improve the steady state transmission characteristics as well as the stability of the system. So, in order to make the uh, enhance the transmittable power means what we required was to improve the steady state transmission characteristics and the stability of the system. Okay. And the objectives of shunt compensation can be summarized. So can be summarized by midpoint voltage regulation, voltage instability prevention, and improvement of transient stability and power oscillation damp. Okay. So in the next video we will see what is the voltage uh, midpoint voltage regulation it is one of the objective option compensation okay